have a twin? I don't know the details, but it seems so. That's why we really need you for this mission. You're the only one who can beat him. You've got something that he doesn't. Why don't I find that thought more comforting? How's it going guys? Python Selkin here, welcoming you to yet another Metal Gear Solid video. Now the title of this video might not be one you'd like to see. What problems could a possible Metal Gear Solid remake have? Is there even going to be an MGS1 remake, apart from the Nintendo exclusive, The Twin Snakes? We know many have been sharing their opinion on why they believe an MGS1 remake might be coming, or whether it should even be done in the first place. But in this video we'd like to talk about something which not many people may have realized, if this remake is ever made. Snake. 1998's Metal Gear Solid is undoubtedly one of the most iconic PS1 games of all time, becoming director Hideo Kojima's magnum opus, and paving the way for the rise of a brilliant franchise, which millions of gamers around the world came to know and love. Following the return of the long dormant Silent Hill franchise, a recent statement from Metal Gear producer Noriaki Okamura ignited further flames towards the possibility that the Metal Gear franchise could be making its return, and such a long-awaited return could be expressed with a much-anticipated remake for the original Metal Gear Solid. Everything all right, Snake? Uh, I was having that dream again. We're here, Shadow Moses. From a development perspective, much of the locations and assets which can be used for this remake have already been done for MGS4, which featured an older snake returning to Shadow Moses Island, this time using PlayStation 3 technology. Almost everything we saw in the MGS4 version of Shadow Moses can pretty much be updated to current generation graphics, which could certainly make things easier for such a project. Having said that, a remake of such a brilliant classic has the potential of being perfect with today's graphics and possibly become one of the best remakes to ever be made. The only problem that fans might have forgotten about when it comes to this remake is that the iconic main team that was especially synonymous with MGS1 can unfortunately no longer be used, following a case of plagiarism accusations claiming that the main team heavily resembled a classical composition called Winter Road by Russian composer Georgi Sviridov. Metal Gear Solid's theme song was composed by a Japanese composer known as Tepi, making its first debut with MGS1 and its special nostalgic trailers. The team was reworked and remixed by Harry Gregson Williams since MGS2, and whilst Norihiko Hibino, another MGS composer, denied that the team had been stolen, Konami just decided not to use it any longer throughout the series to avoid any problems, and it also ended up being entirely removed from MGS4. On a positive note, a brilliantly composed iteration of what was left from the main team was actually featured in MGS5 Ground Zeroes in the Deja Vu mission which was all about Shadow Moses' memories from MGS1. Shadow Moses Island, a remote island off the coast of Alaska. <laughs> or not. This brings back some memories. Great, you recreated a scene. I can't remember. Great, you recreated a scene. A different version of this track was also featured in 2018's Metal Gear Survive.
despite having key parts of the team removed. We personally still enjoyed hearing a somewhat alternate version of MGS1's iconic main theme after all these years. Now those who may not care much for such music might not make a big deal out of this, but longtime fans of the series know that this main theme was a crucial part of what made MGS1 so nostalgic, and without it, things will just be different. Not necessarily bad, but different. In the filmmaking world, even a simple music track can be considered having as much character as any other actor, and the fact that we might be truly experiencing a remake of this game after all these years raises questions whether the absence of this main theme might affect fans, or if players won't be bothered by such changes. Even though parts of it might still make a return, it's a real shame seeing such an important main theme go, and we definitely felt it needed to be featured in MGS4, being the game that pretty much wrapped everything up. But then again, both MGS4 and MGS5 had a powerful soundtrack, so with the talent of such composers, we're sure we'll be given all the soundtrack thrills we could ever ask for. We honestly believe that as long as the essence of the original is well captured, that most of the lead voice actors make their return, and that the soundtrack resembles those iconic tracks we had as much as they can, we think we can trust the potential of such a remake, and that fans should look forward to revisiting Shadow Moses Island in current gen visuals. This brings us to the end of yet another Metal Gear Solid video. What are your thoughts on MGS1's main theme being missing from a possible remake? Do you think this affects your experience when compared to the original? Or perhaps it might not bother you that much? Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Meanwhile, if you liked this video and enjoy all things Metal Gear, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll make sure to return the favor with content you won't find anywhere else. Thank you all for watching. Until we meet again, Python and Selkin, out.